What's up, what's up, what's up, what's up, people? This is your girl, Virgo, Witch Goddess, in the building. Time right now is 10 p.m., June 28th, 2020, Sunday night. And so this is going to be a general reading from the sign of Aries, okay? So this is going to be for the first two weeks of July for the sign of Aries, okay? So Aries, welcome to my channel. If this is your first time uh joining me welcome please free to hit the like button and subscribe okay aries so again this is going to be a general reading for the sign of aries okay so aries let's jump into your reading and let's see what we got going on for the two months of uh two weeks of uh july okay the first two weeks of uh july and so aries what i can tell you is that um some of you could be dealing with a sagittarius where um this person was um when it comes to this two of wands it was like uh this person didn't put enough energy into the situation okay where um this person was a uh, lacking a connection where you wasn't sure what their true attentions were towards you when it came to this three of wands Okay, and so um, it was like where, you know, where this, because this person wasn't putting enough energy and effort into the situation and uh, this person was lacking a connection and you wasn't sure if their true attention is toward with you. Um, with this four of wands, this person was a bit unstable and ungrounded and this person could have been a bit uh, obsessive over you, which caused uh, some type of five of wands to come into play where there was some type of um, conflicts of disagreements where this person could have been a bit jealous and envy of you when it came to the six of wands of you being uh, around uh, family and friends and people who uh, support you and celebrate you. And so you became a bit defensive and became guarded it to with this person because this person was a bit out of control and jealous with envy and because this person was unstable and ungrounded and because this person didn't put enough energy and effort into the situation where the, uh, this person lacked the connection where you wasn't sure what their uh, true attentions was and so with this eight of wands this person was lacking commitment where they wasn't ready to commit to you and this person could be from a distance and so you view the situation between you and this person as a ten of wands as a burden and so you want to release the burden in between you and this uh Sagittarius and so um this person uh could be a bit um closed-minded you know a bit petty a bit immature um and this person's wanting to rush in the taste with action but um you're not you're not putting up with it you know and so when it comes to dealing with these pentacles what i could tell you uh aries is that some of you might be dealing with a taurus okay and so uh it could be a situation with this four pentacles where um someone is holding on too tight hoarding on to some things where with this five of pentacles somebody views the situation as being out in the cold fear that they don't have enough where with the six of pentacles things could have gotten old and got still and so um you grew apart and so you outgrew this person and so um with the seven of pentacles it's like you're feeling frustrated when it comes to dealing with this person in a situation that you're in so you're going back in and you're reevaluating some things with this eight of pentacles and you're working on your own goals and you're crafting your own talent working on your own skills trying to build some type of uh some type of you know legacy legacy and family worth when it comes to trying to build your own uh stable foundation for yourself and so for some of you you might have a knight of pentacles trying to rush in where this person is trying to come in and block you and hinder your path okay and again, that's what dealing with a Taurus. And so some of you could be dealing with a Taurus or a Sagittarius. Okay, Aries. Now moving over to your water sign. It could be where you have this water sign who's wanting to uh, start over with you. But with this um, Seven of Cups, this person does have options. Okay. And so with this Eight of Cups, you're not willing to stay for this person who has options. Okay. And so you got your back turned now. And you're seeking journeys and connections elsewhere. Because even though with this Nine of Cups, this person desires to be with you and this person sees you as a wish fulfillment this person also got some things where um some secrets may have been exposed when it comes to dealing with these options and so you being the queen of cups you're being gifted and psychic at this time where you're not willing to uh 
accept this king of cups offers because you're not going to let them just buy you because they have some, uh, you know, they may have a little bit more material and money than you. You're not going to uh, fall for that trick because, again, they do have options, okay? And so for some of you, when it comes to these swords, okay, um, you could be dealing with a Libra, okay, where uh, you're, like, a bit hesitant when it comes to dealing with this Libra because um, you got yourself unstuck from the situation where uh, you had to take time to go within and heal from the situation because this person had you feeling... Um, you were dealing with a player, okay? So you had to go within and take time to heal, okay? Because, like I said, um, hesitant about wanting to be with this person with this Ace of Swords, Two of Swords, getting yourself unstuck from this person, Four of Swords, taking time to go within and heal, Five of Swords, dealing with a player, um, Seven of Swords, um, dealing with somebody who was in and out and taking from you and stealing from you, mentally, emotionally draining you, okay? And so this person had you feeling trapped and isolated with this Eight of Swords and was stabbing you in the back with this Ten of Swords. And so you could have been dealing with somebody who was conniving and manipulating when it comes to this Page of Swords. And so this Knight of Swords is wanting to rush in and take you off your balance, but you're using logic when it comes to this Queen of Swords, and you're not willing to deal with somebody when it comes to this King of Swords, who's a bit self-centered, selfish, out of control, conniving, and sneaky. And so right now you are the Empress Aries, and you're being very uh, you're paying attention to your, you're paying attention to your intuition when it comes to this High Priest. And so right now you may have to make a sacrifice to surrender some things. Um, when it comes to dealing with either of these situations where some type of uh, abruptive tower moment came into play and caused some type of change, when you're dealing with someone who is trying to resist the urge of wanting to reach out, okay, because um, with this Wheel of Fortune, um, this person could have been going against the grain where um, they wasn't ready to adapt, to change you know what i'm saying and so now the wheel is turning in your favor where you're moving forward but this person may still be a bit stuck and and be a bit ungrounded okay aries and so for what i see right here is like um you know, for some reason, in most of these readings, you know, I just did a reading for Pisces. And so for Aries, it's like the same way. You know, you're not willing to uh, accept any office that no longer serves you. And so I see you just working on uh, making plans for the future and not really wanting to look back. And so I don't blame you for that. And so Aries, this has been your reading for uh, the first two weeks of July. So if it resonates, feel free to subscribe and hit the like button. And as always, thank you for coming to my channel. God bless.